Yo, what's going on, guys? I am Polsky Gamer, and welcome back to another Fallout YouTube video of mine. And today, I'm going to be talking about the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout New Vegas. Listen, out of every single Fallout game, my favorite faction, the one I absolutely love and I will always side with, is the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, I'm a Brotherhood of Steel fan. I know a lot of people out there aren't really fans of the Brotherhood of Steel, but when I play video games, I really love the authority type figures in them. I, it sounds stupid, yeah, but like, just something about them and their objective really intrigues me. And that's why I like authority figures, like military type factions in Fallout. I don't like uh, the Institute, I don't like the Railroad, I don't like pretty much everything else. It's just like, I like the Minutemen because they have some sort of military-esque style and I like that. And I'm talking about Fallout 4 here a lot. Oh, and the Enclave, of course. I love the Enclave, but if I had to choose, it's gonna be the Brotherhood of Steel. So, really, this video is me talking to you about my disappointment when I played through the Brotherhood of Steel questline in Fallout New Vegas. It's not that much of a disappointment, I quite enjoyed it, definitely. I enjoy seeing all of this Brotherhood lore that I never really got to experience in the other games. Uh, I haven't really played Fallout 1, 2, or Tactics, whatever, Brotherhood, uh, so keep this in mind when I'm talking about this, and if I uh, get something that sounds incorrect, keep that in mind. I'm not as educated on the first many games. Uh, I'm, I'm only educated on Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4, and not even 76 yet. I will educate myself on 76. But anyway, I like the idea of how the Brotherhood is different in the East Coast and the West Coast because the East Coast is so, how do I put it? They're so like out there, they're so intense. And the, the, the West Coast, uh, Mojave uh, specifically, they're so original to their original uh, Brotherhood of Steel ways. As you know, the Brotherhood of Steel in the West Coast is more of a kind of solitary group, quite like the Enclave is in Fallout 3 and, and in Fallout 1 and whatever other Fallout games they are in. I don't really know. I know all about the oil rig. I just can't remember which Fallout game that is. I'm sorry if I'm making you cringe. But I like experiencing this different vibe of the Brotherhood of Steel that you only get to minorly experience in Fallout 3 with the Outcasts. And I really like that, by the way. I always, I always love the fact that there were Brotherhood of Steel members that hated this changes that the East Coast Brotherhood was doing. And they're like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna become my own thing, you know? When I played through Fallout New Vegas and I experienced... Everything outside of the main story, such as the Enclave uh, Remnants and the Brotherhood of Steel and other NCR stuff. I also really like the NCR, I forgot to mention, because of their military form. I really like military type deals in uh, video games, pretty much. Anyway, and I like the lore about how the Brotherhood and the NCR really eradicated the Enclave. But this, this is what gets to me, okay? Why have two intense factions that once fought in Fallout 3 at such like crazy, like immense battle stuff, you know? <laughs> the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3 were just going at it and at it and at it. And it makes no sense whatsoever that when you meet both the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel, they have no interactions with each other other than say, Eddie's Eddie the robot, like an Enclave robot, the iBot. That's it. That's the only, like, thing. I feel like that there should have been something maybe after game. So if, say, the Courier enlisted the help of both Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave Remnants in the Battle of Hoover Dam, then they find out that they're both still alive, like, in the Mojave. Like, the Brotherhood of Steel knows that there is a... Uh, Remnants of the Enclave here from the oil rig and they should you should have had the option because if you were with either the Enclave or the Brotherhood of Steel You should have had uh, optional quests. So like a quest which should start that be like oh Go to Brotherhood of Steel to inform them about the Enclave remnants or go to the Enclave remnants to inform them about the Brotherhood of Steel bunker also keep in mind yeah, I'm aware that the Battle of Hoover Dam doesn't really happen, like nothing happens after because you go back in time. Uh, taking that out of consideration, say that this happened some other way 
uh, by the way. So you had the option to go to either faction to tell them about the other. And then you should have been able to have this awesome battle between the Brotherhood uh, of Steel and, 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 and the Enclave Remnants. And it would have been legendary. Like, it, it's like a really hard-hitting throwback to Fallout 3 where the courier and your 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 faction go and take out the other one and it would have just been a nice touch of obsidian to do but i understand under the time that they had to do it it's it's fair enough and honestly i know that uh there is a bit more than just the brotherhood uh bunker there there's father elijah in dead money i'm not entirely certain about other dlcs i only i have played from new vegas numerous times but the DLCs I have not, and I've only recently been actually destroying those DLCs. So I've done Dead Money. I've done uh, a couple others. Actually, the only one I haven't done is Lonesome Road, because I've been really just hyping myself over that and getting excited and ready for it. And I've just been working and grinding to get this really cool character that's ready to go to the Divide. But besides the point, I don't know, I, th that's not really much Brotherhood of Steel content. For someone like me who loves the Brotherhood of Steel, and the Enclave, I guess. Why didn't we get more? Especially the Brotherhood of Steel. It made no... I mean, it, it makes sense, I guess, because the battle is really between the NCR and the Legion. The Legion, the Caesar's Legion. Uh, losers. I hate Caesar's Legion, by the way. It's like, yeah, that's cool and all, but I'm a Brotherhood fan. Please feature more Brotherhood. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so, really, ultimately... Would have it made a difference? Probably not. It's Fallout New Vegas. It's an amazing game nonetheless. I hope you guys can keep in mind that this video is purely opinionated. So everything I say about the Brotherhood and the Enclave and what have you is my own opinion. And the fact that I even want a battle like between the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel is also my own opinion. Obviously it's not going to happen because the game's out and done. It's it's long gone, <laughs> you know, so it's just really something I wish that could have been that isn't been, you know Also, I'd like to know exactly what you guys think of my Opinions I want to hear exactly what you wish happened if anything at all between the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave and Fallout New Vegas if you guys think that that should have been a thing where they were more involved with each other and they were more involved within the courier and like they had their more more involved storyline, you know what I mean, man? So if you really think that as well, let me know. Uh, if you don't think that, also let me know. I wanna know what your opinion is against it. If you think entirely against my opinion, I wanna hear it, man. That would be amazing. I'd love to understand someone else's point of view of the Brotherhood Steel and Enclave in the Fallout New Vegas game. Okay, guys, that is the end of that part of the video. This little end part is me just explaining my absence on YouTube and all that lately i've really just been kind of thinking what kind of content i want to put out on youtube i know i've had a lot of time to think about it and all that and and all uh, before i restarted my channel and really i just kind of i wasn't sure the outcome of which i wanted this channel to go in and really i think my real you know thing that i'm gonna do is just do what i want really the whole time i've been thinking how can i please a certain particular audience, such as my Jurassic World Evolution community, and also enjoy it. And really, I can't. Not unless I have so many people enjoying it, or I'm earning some sort of money from it, which I am on my Instagram now, actually, interestingly enough. But like, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm, 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 I, I just want, you know, followers and money. I'm more saying that I want a reason to, which sounds stupid, I know, it sounds kind of uh, selfish in a way, but really, it's hard to play a game that I've been playing for however long I've been playing it every day, because I do, I play Dress What Evolution every day for my Instagram. It's hard, okay? And I really just need, if I want to continue doing Dress What Evolution, I need reason to, such as people that really want to see it, or people that give me money, so. Yeah, that's that's really it. I'm really just trying to think. And honestly, right now, I'm just going to post what I want to post. Maybe probably post when I want to post. And I'm really sorry 
uh, for those that are here for my Jurassic World Evolution content, but I don't have the drive to continue that. Which sound, I mean, I'm not gonna give up on it. I will continue it, and hopefully one day I will get big, because that's my, that is my objective, and that has always been my objective. Make sure you buy my Patreon, because I started a Patreon, and I have zero Patreons. So have a look on that. It really is, um, more dedicated to my Jurassic World Evolution Instagram account, and a bit of the YouTube stuff. So if you're really interested in my Jurassic World stuff, actually have a look at my Patreon. I really uh, hope someone would consider it. It would be amazing to actually have a Patreon, you know? And someone to wanna buy my stuff. I don't know, it's just, it's the dream, you know? Anyway guys, thanks for watching this Fallout New Vegas video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>